So the first question we have here is coming from Nick. And the question is, don't you have to pay the difference in premium or does an ounce equal an ounce? Good question. This question was actually in response to a video that I posted last week talking about potentially trading silver Libertads for silver Eagles. Now, right off the bat, at the end of the day, an ounce of silver is an ounce of silver as long as it's an ounce of silver. That's what matters the most. But when it comes to coins or rounds or bars that typically carry a higher premium, that's a completely different ballgame. So when we're talking about Eagles and Libertads, for example, the Eagle was always a low premium silver coin. The Libertad always carried a little bit higher of a premium, and then everything that took place in 2020 just drove the premiums up even more. The premiums got driven up on everything, but especially high on Silver Eagles, and the Libertads, which already had a higher premium to begin with, they got cranked up even higher. So when it comes to coins like that, or when it comes to really really any type of coin out there, not just exclusively those two, when it comes to any piece of silver, even when it comes to pretty standard, average, everyday pieces of gold on a fractional level, those carry a premium as well. So when it comes to stuff like that, you normally do factor in the premium. If you're just making a person-to-person -person transaction, you would want to factor in the premium. I mean, for example, the spot price right now is probably about $24, $25. Again, filming it about six days in advance. I have no idea what it's going to be by the time the video comes out. But let's just say it's about $24, $25. And let's just say the average premium is about $3 or $4. So let's just call that, I don't know, $28 for just a piece of silver. But if we're looking at, let's just say, a Silver Eagle, for example, which carries a much higher premium than just your average, everyday, generic silver round, you're going to want to factor that in. So for me, it's not really anything that I have to worry about all that much because I'm personally not a collector. I don't go after high premium silver coins. In fact, when the Silver Eagle became a high premium coin, when it used to be a low premium coin, that very day, I stopped stacking the Silver Eagle. I personally don't care about those. It doesn't matter to me. A lot of people say, oh, you should go after this. You should go after that because it holds the premium. You can get the premium back. And I've been saying for over four years now that I don't want the premium back because I don't want the currency back. Once it's in my possession, I'm not looking to get rid of it. I'm not interested in trading. I'm not interested in selling. I'm not interested in any of that. So I personally have always gone after low premium silver coins, rounds, and bars. That's what I've been doing for the last going on four and a half years at this point, and that's probably how I'm going to stick to doing things. But when it comes to trading one piece of silver for another piece of silver, if it's a person-to-person -person transaction, you're probably going to want to factor in those premiums. If it's something that's pretty much worth twice as much as what the spot price is, which, by the way, just for the record, if something's worth twice as much as what spot price is, that's up to the collector. That's up to the person. To me, nothing is worth twice as much as what spot price is. I'll happily pay a premium. I don't mind paying a premium. But if spot price is about $25, I'm not paying $50 for any one troy ounce silver coin rounder bar. It's just not my style. There are collectors out there. That's what they do. That's what they're interested in. Everybody's stacking or collecting for different reasons or in different ways. Perfectly fine. But if something is typically worth about $50 right now when spot price is only $25, then yeah, in a case like that, you could trade one troy ounce of silver for two troy ounces of silver. But at the end of the day, silver, silver, as long as it's just silver, none of that really matters all that much to me. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you.